Hello, it's Scott Manley here and this is just a quick three minute answer to the Reddit challenge. The challenge posted by Avianaut is to go over 200 kilometers using nothing but jet engines. So, this is an unmanned vehicle, we're using the small uh, fuel tanks in the middle. The tiny, tiny ones that actually have oxidizer in them, but I don't need it, I'm just burning it for the fuel. Now, I'm using these cubic octagonal struts to put the um, air intakes on the side and as far back as possible because they actually generate a lot of drag and unless I push them backwards the thing will tend to flip around uh, you know, backwards. I'd move them basically aft of the center of mass. And you see we're going upwards straight up. I mean there's nothing, there's no need to go sideways and try and get into orbit here. We want to get altitude which means our vertical speed has to be as high as possible when our engine cuts out. Picking up shock heating on the way up. We have a single turbojet in the middle there and uh, it'll It'll cut out about 30 kilometers, so I'll very quickly cut down the power just before then, but it will probably not help me too much. I'm not sure when the cutout actually happens, but 36 kilometers, and uh, I think that's us probably there. Well, let's go and take a look. Yeah, we are intake air deprived. I've probably missed my best altitude. Excellent! 3200, uh, 320 kilometers. So that neatly beat the 200 kilometers requirement. The hard mode requires hitting the moon, and somebody mentioned that there is a hard limit coded in that basically says the turbojets don't generate power at 2400 meters per second or above. So I don't believe, based on that information, that hitting the moon is possible, but I would like to be proven wrong. Um, there may be some fancy trick I can use to beat this, but it does specifically say no other power system. Anyway, falling back to Earth, we have these little rudders on the back here. Those flaps give me some level of control. It doesn't mean that I don't fall straight into the, the ocean. Um, as I said, the thing does want to go nose down now because we've put the center of mass or the center of drag behind the center of mass, and there's a lot of drag. However, uh, once I fire up the engine and uh, put on these flaps, I can actually pull out of the dive and head over to that land so that uh, I can scatter my debris over the surface of Kerbin rather than splashing it into the ocean and disappearing forever. There will at least be some um, memory left of this achievement or whatever. Anyway, <laughs> this is just a short one. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.